Hello there, I'm Mike the Gardener and in today's how-to I'm going to show you how to control aphids. It's thought that there are over 4,000 different types of aphid and of those about 250 are potentially harmful to the crops and plants that we grow in our garden. They're small insects which suck the sap of our plants depriving them of the essential nutrients to enable them to grow properly. Furthermore they actually carry viruses which they spread from plant to plant. In addition and as if that wasn't enough the sticky honeydew that they excrete is the perfect breeding ground for sooty mould, that horrible black discoloration on leaves that we often find on camellias and as the aphids feed on the sap, this sticky honeydew, as it's called, is secreted from their bodies onto the leaves below and then starts to cover with a black type of mould which looks particularly unsightly. So it's really important that we can control aphids as soon as we start to see them appear. Aphids particularly love the new, young, fleshy growth on new plants. It's perfect for them to stick their proboscis in and suck the sap from them. So plants like roses, new bedding with fresh lush growth, um, dahlias, all sorts of plants are potentially at risk from aphid attacks. Now I'm going to have a look around the garden and show you the plants that are particularly vulnerable. And it hasn't taken me too long to find the offending insects. Here they are on the stems of this dahlia and you can see there's my thumb so you can see how small they are and what you will also find is lots of ants running up and down through the aphids. And as I said earlier, it's the top of the plants where the new growth is particularly soft and fleshy and it's here that the aphids will actually colonise and quickly suck the sap from a particular plant. There are a number of approaches in dealing with aphids. Of course, if you go to a garden centre, there are a number of insecticides available that will deal specifically with killing aphids. However, I prefer to use a more organic approach, and here are the two approaches that I tend to use, which are really effective. My preferred approach is to take one of these plant sprayers, fill it with warm water, and just put two or three drops of any household detergent into the water, give it a shake and then give that a spray, spray directly where the aphids are on the plant stems. However, what's worth pointing out is the soaps, these detergents are also harmful to beneficial wildlife. So do be careful where you're actually directing the spray. So now it's a case of just getting in there and spraying the diluted detergent solution onto the aphids. As I say, being careful where you're directing the spray. Alternatively, if you're not too squeamish, you can rub the aphids off between your thumb and forefinger, but that's my preferred option. As always, if you have any questions about today's how-to, give me a shout through Garden Tags. I'm Mike the Gardener. Bye-bye.